Natural connections to me can be explained very simply by the near-far uh, approach to uh, the landscape. It started all with the uh, flowers, a little patch of flowers close up one time that leads in then to the, the big landscape. If they're working, the vertical aspect is the best. This is something that has uh, developed very strongly in my way of seeing. It, it seems I, come, I gravitate back to this quite often. And this is a good example of it uh, uh, right here with these uh, if you had blooms on them, you'd have even more interest. But what it is is actually an abstraction. These are abstract because your eye can't look at that all at once. It's two or three different images put together. Your eye starts from that first barrel cactus and wanders through with hopefully interesting design and composition running in a three-dimensional manner up to the range. I'm always then going out and I'm looking for foregrounds because I know the others there. I need to, to have the uh, foreground be something of interest. Or if it isn't there, then simplify and don't do it at all. You just do the mood and light by itself. I know the landscape, the light is possibly very good or going to be very good. And I look for a foreground that will give an extra dimension in the, and you, you go from near to the middle distance to the final distant landscape uh, or subject. Uh, and they put, you put them together and your eye travels three-dimensionally. It's always been a, a thing that is actually coming close to my style. This is probably the, the, the keynote of, of uh, uh, my style. And what this does is really gets me involved with uh, the landscape and with whatever creatively is hiding inside of me and it comes out in reflecting on the uh, things that draw me to them. This is, what, this is what inspires me. You have a great scene, you're, you're ready to photograph, you like what you have, look for a foreground now. It might be flowers or it might be a, a plant or some form and shape that you like that fits with the subject. They go together. Then you can go either up or down to get the middle ground as an important player or not. For your experience, try searching for foregrounds to go with your distant landscapes or distant subject. See if you can put the two together and that means uh, some challenges to focus. You may, not, you may not be used to getting depth of field, but the big thing, and of course with wide angle lenses is easier. Try and uh, use F90, uh, which you don't have, uh, to try and reach from that foreground to the distance. And it's, remember the hyperfocal distance, a third toward your subject close to you, and then two thirds go beyond that point of focus. So you need to get close to your foreground subject with the focus. You get involved with what you're interested in rather than just snapping uh, an easy shot. It really plays to uh, uh, getting involved with the landscape. Sometimes it's a tree frame or a rock frame, something to give it one more interesting uh, uh, note to, to take in. Mm -hmm.